Okay, we're gonna go live here in just a few seconds. We need a big round of applause here. Just a moment. Ninety four point one. Loud noise. Online at wrlt.com. Wrlt Smana. Wrlt Franklin. Lightning one hundred. Tuesday live music series, yes, Sunday night, made possible by your friends at Mickle of Aberbach and Nashville.CitySearch.com. Tonight we've got a terrific lineup, some of the best, two of the best singer-songwriters in the world today, I believe. Coming up in the second hour, we have Steve Forbert for you. His, he was here about five years ago, finally got him back on the show. He's got a new album out and everything. Right now, though, we've got a singer-songwriter who's well-known in songwriting circles and in Texas and everywhere. Uh, he, in the early years, he was worked with uh, Towns Van Zandt, Light and Hopkins. He's written songs for Lyle Lovett, Nancy Griffith, and many others. His debut album, Shameless Love, came out in 1981, and uh, I heard that they were going to re-release that album, too. He didn't record again until 95. His self-titled album came out. Now his fourth album is released. It's called Scuffle Town on Eminent Records. Please welcome Eric Taylor. Yeah. Don't seem like each 
other and I never knew that other man You keep that long tall pain Take that charge of moon I'm going Solid ground, I'm all going back to Texas. Gonna walk on back to Texas, walk home. See some of my friends. It's good to be here. Living a lie 
Uh, stuck off in Oslo, Norway one time uh, a few years ago and uh, there's this uh, promoter there that said uh, I want you to see this band and we went to this rock club and there was these guys that were uh, multiply pierced in the face and bleeding in several places and they were playing down in this around this mosh pit and all these people were banging in one another and uh, it was real loud and it was hard to understand what the hell they were saying. And I said, uh, why is it you think maybe that uh, I should hear this band? And he says, well, they're playing uh, two of your songs. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also playing two of Towns Van Zandt tunes. And uh, one of the songs that they were playing was uh, this song here. So. Uh, when Towns died, everybody argued about which songs they were going to sing uh, at his wake. And uh, I learned this from the Norwegians, who were great friends of Townsend's, by the way. It's a song off the old Delta Moment Blues record at Townsend's. Uh, we've got it on the new record, Scuffle Town. Uh, and it's uh, where I lead me. Steve uh, Forbert for having the uh, plywood thing up here uh, for me to tap my foot on.
like my friends, we gonna fight Less boys down in the gutter Man, they don't lie because you don't matter Well, the street's just fine for good and blind But it ain't where you belong Just roll down the sleeves, pick up your money, man, carry yourself home. Just roll down the sleeves, pick up your money, man, carry yourself home. out of the uh, Catholic Church for singing this song. Uh, I don't know if you know what's going on around, but there's this uh, Unitarian coffee houses where a lot of us go around and play on Wednesday nights around the country. It's pretty cool, but the Catholics put one together and they threw me out. <laughs> it's a song off the new record called Chicken Pie. It's told by the Catholics that it's very innuendous. And I probably shouldn't sing it in front of children. <laughs> Do you have your children here tonight? Chicken pie, chicken pie man, 
It's every old rooster's alibi We'll ask him where he's been all day And eating the chicken pie Gonna do what he is say Say the rooster had a dog It was a hound named Lemma Used to run all night Used to sleep all day Man, when that dog lost a taste for the chicken Dog shot himself clean dead away See when that dog lost a taste for the chicken Man shot himself clean dead away he missed his chicken pie, chicken pie man, every old rooster's alibi. Well, that's a sad dog where he's been all day, and eating the chicken pie gonna be what he say. When the bank got robbed, it was the next town over. Here come the sheriff running rules to talk. Got a pretty chicken man, dressed her up nice. Don't you sit down, sheriff, and maybe have a little slide. She's playing pool. I said I got this pretty chicken man I dressed her up nice But don't you sit down, sheriff And maybe have a little slide Talking about the chicken pie Chicken pie man Every old rooster's alibi Well, ask him where he's been all day And eating the chicken pie Gonna be what he say Oh, dead air. Get can do dead air. Sorry about that. Forgot about the radio, man. Nod to me. Give me those radio waves. That's it. This is a song called Hemingway Shotgun. An old friend of mine named Richard Dobson, who used to be a songwriter around here, now lives somewhere in Europe, living off some woman. Uh, it's like it always done. Used to, I used to have these arguments with Richard about Hemingway. Hemingway thought Richard was a great writer and a great man, and I and, and just loved him. And I, my argument always was that I thought Hemingway lied about how tall he was. So. No dead air. No dead air. Say something. Alright, now if you talk too loud, you're going to be on the radio making an asshole out of yourself. <laughs>
bad muddy water with a pipes and tooth. But I never heard a word about you. Out on the highway in the silent town. Careful of the cafe with the jukebox moan. There's a crazy little fat man in a corner booth. from God ought to be some kind of warning coming with who you are
1981, this guy named Tony Bruni walked into Houston, Texas, making this film about this little kid named Ephraim. He was a Mexican national, came up from uh, there to Houston to the medical center. They were making this documentary film about it. He had some kind of illness, uh, something going on with his legs that was debilitating his whole body. They didn't quite know what it was. They were trying to figure it out. And this is what the documentary was about. Tony asked me if I'd write a song for this film, and I'd never written a song for a film before at the end of the night. I took my yellow legal pad and a big pen to this movie, and I watched this kid cross this uh, dry creek bed up in Wimberley, Texas. And a brand new pair of braces on his legs and he's real proud of him like it was a bicycle. And as he fell walking across the creek bed he began to smile and when he hit the ground he laughed out loud and he rolled over and he took a handful of sand and he threw it right over his head. I knew I was in trouble because I had to write a song about this kid. And I knew I'd never have that much courage in my life ever. So I ended up maybe writing a, not a song about him so much as maybe a song about you or maybe a song about me or maybe a song about me and you. Because he has the courage already and we're still waiting on it. Just to run through the tree I'm told that all men are brothers We're as different as the seas You can pin wings to my shoulder Pretend that I can fly if your legs are strong enough to think I'll walk with you a while. Oh, I'll walk with you a while. Some let the sand slip through their fingers. Some throw it to the wind Some let the mystery lay Some bring it to an end You can pin wings to my shoulder Pretend that I can fly if your legs are strong enough to think I'll walk with you a while. Understand if you can't see me. Understand if you can't stay. But if somehow I should catch your eye, please don't look away. Just pin wings to my shoulder. that I can fly and if your legs are strong enough to think I'll walk with you a 
Told we come from the water just to run through the trees. I'm told that all men are brothers, but we're as different as the seas. You just pick wings to my shoulder. Pretend that I can fly If your legs are strong enough to I think I'll walk with you a while It's a song called Two Fires. Uh, it's about looking for God. I went looking for, this therapist told me that I needed some help. <laughs> besides, besides the medication that I was taking. She said that it would probably be a good idea for me to go find some kind of spiritual thing. So I went out looking for God and uh, I went to Arizona. And I went to New Mexico and uh, Col even Colorado. I looked around in Boulder for several but uh, there was a God there that wouldn't let me smoke in a bar. So I left Boulder and went back to Arizona. Still never found anything and I was coming back to Texas. I was on a motorcycle and I pulled into Paladura Canyon and camped the last night. And I went out in the middle of the desert kind of trying to find this spiritual thing. And uh, I saw this desert land where uh, it looked like nobody had been there for a couple of thousand years, you know, and I said, I bet maybe this is where he is. And, uh, I was cold camping, so I hid the motorcycle over behind this rock, and I walked about three or four miles out as far as I could, about to the edge of the Paladura. And uh, I took my little shovel, and uh, I dug down into the sand, and I found this... Uh, <laughs> baby blue uh, Donald Duck diaper pen. <laughs> and I said, nah, that's it. So now I have that up in my studio at home, uh, this little uh, diaper pen. And people want to know, uh, you'll understand this, people want to know, what, what is that doing up there? And I said, well, that's, that's God. <laughs> And depending on whether they're looking for a deal or not, you know, a record deal, they'll stop and look at it a little bit more. <laughs> they even touch it. <laughs> anyway, I woke up in the 3 o'clock in the morning and there was a fire about 50 yards away from me up on the Mesa. Who knows, not me. I've had fun, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And I'm an innocent man 
I'm just burning holes in the sand, man. I'm burning my back roads in a two wheel run. I'm gonna burn a me again when I'm done. I used to burn like Atlanta. I used to burn like the lonesome in a young girl's eye. Where's the fire? What's the matter? I got two fires burned, burning one at a time. Well, there's a fire down on Scott Street in the pouring rain. Down on the corner, there's some kind of a ball game. Man, he's burning his fingers and he's burning his clothes. Somebody burned him and down he goes. But he used to burn like Atlanta and he burned like the lonesome in a young girl's eye. Where's the fire? Now, hey, what's the man? We got two fires burned. hotel and it's burning itself out the only thing left burning here is coming out of my mind well it's one flame's red baby this one flame's blue somebody get a fireman Get a fire into this room. We used to burn like Atlanta. We burn like the lonesome in a young girl's eye. Where's the fire? Now, hey, what's the matter? We got two fires burn, burning one at a time. Lonesome in a young girl's eye. Where's the fire? I hate what's the matter. We got two fires burning. Scuffle Town I've listened to it front to back, it's an excellent album. Scuffle Town Up. Eric Taylor, we're gonna take a short break out of Senate for Steve Corbett, and we're waiting to come in next and ask for Sunday night. We've got Jackie Velasquez, Will Hill, Indigenous, and more. You're listening to National Sunday night brought to you by Nickelode Amberbach and NashvilleCitySearch.com. And we'll be back with Steve Corbett on Lightning 100. <laughs> 